Let's talk a little more about our latest updated CCF tool function, the Jet Pro. Like we have new PIVI cars in 2024. We'll coding up on CCF for the new JLR models. We have to first of all, connecting vehicles. After connecting to the vehicle, the part number and the hardware number of the BCM and gateway will be displayed here. Then we'll go. Read the current vehicle configuration. Every time we even... When the car needs to be modified, you need to read the vehicle configuration or we can't change it. Or we'll change something. After that, Tell me about this manual dealteration of bytes. For example, let's coding up on the VC7, 1137. Like this one. If anything we don't have, I've got this one. Now if we don't have to activate this option, we're gonna just leave it here. Then tap set to confirm. That's it. And then we have the... Just make a choice. Then a word about the script. This list of scripts, it's our online foot. We need to... Find the start-stop-off leakage cable that we need to brush frequently. Multiple options are possible by clicks. After all the choices have been made, clicks and confirm. Okay. Okay, this is where it says it's done. In that case, we'll opt out. After we quit, we'll write the current number. It'll take a while to get to the place. Like our PV after coding this PV car after brushing the configuration usually need to memorize the DADC. Learning about DADC at the CCF memory menu. This DADC is a little problematic in the car we often encountered this encounter. This DADC does not communicate with the we can do this. Do open the phone ring off. Then go to the Ethernet list. Get it. See, there's a DADC right here right now. We'll learn it when it's done. There's a slight problem with this DADC. If it's normal, once you open the phone ring off in this Ethernet list, this place has DADC, you can go to the study. If it doesn't keep failing to connect, we'll do a gateway initialization in this vehicle function. When we're done, we'll go back to the Ethernet. Get a hold of DADC, you see it's there now. Let's go back to studying DADC. There's something wrong with the module. He keeps failing to connect. Then we will talk about this PIVI cars, including AMC cars, some of them after the start-stop memory. You need to memorize the engine gearbox. Some cars like AMCs don't memorize their gearboxes, so it doesn't matter. Don't worry about it. Just do the memory PCM. 
Another thing you have to do is to learn the RGM after you brush the PV of our car and brush the start-stop memory and what the second generation of B-type these options that are displayed on the center screen. Then if it's an AMC car, we'll learn about AMC. When learning AMC, we have to be careful to wait for the screen to light up before we go back to learning. The study must wait until this AMC, the entertainment screen, is lit up to learn. Learn, and then this like we change this about driver assistance and so on, driver assistance package to learn RPM, and then this PIVI types car. We're done with this. Self-parking. We need to memorize this airport induction module. And then this. Plus this RCM RCM calibration. That's where we change the navigation. Used more sets of car numbers are used more. This RCM configuration of the configuration is that we need us to replace the new other computer. The new one needs to memorize the frame number after the other computer's software. Go learn the frame number and then go learn the configuration. Just use this. The rest is just a few blind spots that need to be memorized after the blind spots are painted. Well, the rest of us will talk a little bit more about what we're looking for when we're flashing this configuration. Let's say there's a car coming in. Um, we, we don't know what this car has been altered with. I don't know what's been done to this car before, but I don't know what's been added to it. We'll be there every time. Vehicle configuration read after connecting the vehicle. He automatically saves them all in a folder. Well, for example, two days ago, there was a navigator who flashed the navigator, and he told me that after flashing the navigator, RPMA reported a malfunction, and I said, how did you do that? And he said, after I flashed the navigator, I restored it to the factory configuration, and he said, I'm sorry. That's where it would come out that he'd restored the factory configuration, and then his RPMA would report a failure. Then I say you read the backup. We read the backup. See, that's what we do every time we read the vehicle configuration. Saved you according to the frame number, for example. This car, you have to look at the earliest time. This car came into the field time. Go scrub this back up. Do not go to make the factory configuration factory configuration because some cars have done modifications. Ah, what will affect you? This configuration cannot be found. And then this custom VIA is what we use when we set the frame number. The upgrading of navigation. Use it when you set the license plate number. We can also write to this VBF file if we write to another file in this place. That's when we use CCF, CCF, those CCFs. Just VBF format is fine. That's basically it. If you have any questions, please visit our website, https.sxtool.com.